I'm the Highway Walker, and today we want to take you along on our journey of going off into the wild, kind of, on a lake with our gas grill, and how would it work if we used powdered eggs. I have never done this before or used powdered butter uh, to make toast on a gas grill, to use eggs in a mixture such as pancakes, cake mix, or whatever. As most of you know, if you've watched any of my videos, I like to keep them um, around five minutes, sometimes a little over, sometimes under, just so we don't get bored. Well, this experiment ended up taking like 15, 20 minutes. So I've cut it into three parts. Today we're going to show you the powdered eggs. Next time, part two, we'll show you how the powdered butter turned out and how do you toast, uh, toast on a gas grill and then how to make pancakes with the powdered eggs. And does it taste funky? Does it taste good? What is that all about? So come along as we take you into the wild as we share our experiment using powdered products. There's nothing like fresh bacon in the morning, especially on a lake. This is a beautiful spot. And I got me a new Pioneer Woman pan. So this is exciting. Okay, now we're gonna make our eggs. Uh, nice dehydrated here. We're going to have two eggs apiece, two tablespoons per egg. So I need eight of these in. And we're going to get eight of these here. One, two, three, four, five, six. There. Now that okay. should give us each two eggs apiece. Okay. Now we have to add the water. And two teaspoons of water. Two of these. Us. So it's again, we're going to put eight of two these little of water. things in mm -hmm. here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So that should be the water. Now let's stir it up and see how these eggs come out. Okay. I was reading on Amazon, but I can't remember if she said to add a little bit more water. Mm -hmm. I might have to because it, it looks, looks like you're going to need to. That just gives you a general idea, I'm sure, but we'll see how this goes. Looks like I might add just a tad more, but kind of getting the egg consistency here. Yeah. So I think I'm going to add just one more of these little bad, little teeny ones here. Yeah. Yeah, let's see how that does. Don't look very appetizing to me. Well, we haven't cooked it yet. Yeah. Okay. And we don't know how that. Maybe it'll expand. I don't know. We've never done this, so let's see what happens here. Yeah. And the good thing about powdered stuff, they say at least 10 years to 25 years again mm -hmm. if it's stored correctly. So store it correctly, and you'll, you'll never go hungry. Okay. Now let's put our eggs in and see how this turns out. See what they look like when they're done. Oh, they're starting to cook now. Oh wow. The eggs have scrambled, so they're scrambled. Yeah, they are scrambled. Ooh, they're gonna be tasty with bacon bits in them. With the bacon grease, yeah. That's why I decided to make a little bit of grease. Oh, it's starting to look like eggs now. It what is, is actually looking like eggs. Well they're supposed to be 100 percent eggs. But that the point is we're trying to do is can you live off the grid with the powdered eggs? because um, you don't have to refrigerate them. They have a long-term shelf life. And you don't have to refrigerate even after you open the container. So they're still, they'll be good. Now this looks to me like two eggs, even though it's supposed to be four. But... That's what I think, too. Looks like they're done. Yeah. La, la, la. That's... Let's take them off the, put them into the plate. All righty. Nice, hot, sweet baby. Cool. Yeah. So we'll see how those taste as soon as we get our toast done. So we're doing toast next. Now, we also have our little piece of egg there. Piece of bacon. A little bacon. I'll make me a little sandwich here. Nice buttered piece of toast. Mm, mm. Oh, that's good. Mm. So that is something that would be a great prep to have then, wouldn't it? 